and welcome to the show, and welcome to Connection Roulette, because so far this evening we haven't managed to get 12 people to stay connected to a single race. Uh, as we head into... Uh, hello, and welcome to the show, and welcome to Connection Roulette, because we're on 4 to 5 and we're not having much luck with the servers, but who knows what's going to happen. Will we get 12 people connected for some multiplayer racing? For this, we are going racing with B-Class Retro Saloons. Uh, which is an interesting class. A lot of the cars in this class start off quite high in terms of B-Class, so your choices are a bit limited. I've got sport tyres on my car. Quite a few vehicles have. I think the M3 might be on slicks, but that'll have zero power at all. Might be the way to go, because uh, all of these races are on tarmac for this. It's got a little bit of a touring car vibe going on here. Uh, there's one Carlton. Brave. I love, I love the Carlton. It is one of my all-time favourite cars. I struggle to make it work on Forza. Um, it is a brave choice. If they've got it working, awesome. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I didn't go for it. The, the AMG Hammer is in this class, and I really wanted to use it, but it literally starts at the top of B class, so I opted not to. Um, in fact, actually, the uh, M3 might struggle with this one because it's raining. If it is on slicks, uh, that might be a bit of a handful. But, yeah, I've gone for the M5. It's got a good amount of PI to play with, and I actually do quite like this uh, generation of BMW. So, and I haven't driven it on this game yet. Thought I'd give it a go, see what I could uh, see what I could do with it. But in these conditions, the Audis are going to have an advantage. Uh, there was no rules about engines or driveline swaps, although with it being B class and having so little PI to play with, uh, you're unlikely to see many cars all-wheel drive converted, especially considering it's a tarmac-only uh, session. Uh, although, yeah, in the rain, the all-wheel drive will be quite. Uh, quite helpful. The Carlton is battling away, was battling away with Longbow also in an M5. That Volvo is going to hit the wall and is going to end up unfortunately carting the Mercedes out wide. We've got a pretty good BMW by the looks of it. We've carved our way through the pack on this first lap. This thing is rapid. <laughs> uh, the Carlton's going to be a monster in a straight line but is going to be a handful in the corners. It's heavy. That's uh, that Lotus. We're going to get to the inside of the RS4. I mean that's the downside for the Audi. It is going to be a heavy, heavy vehicle. The Carlton's struggling for grip. Uh, can we get around the outside? Nope, because it's slid mid-corner and we've got stuck behind it, and that's not what I want. Can't afford to be held behind that uh, Carlton. Uh, problem is, of course, it's going to be early on the brakes. We might be able to fire the nose up the inside. Ah, Longbow is just going to escape while we do this. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I mean, we've got a quick car. It's just, you're trying to cut through the pack, and we're trying to be as efficient as possible. Carlson is going to slide out wide. We want to fire it up the inside here. Uh, we will be late on the brakes, and we will get the move completed. I think the Carlton was hoping I was going to be too brave and run wide. He could cut underneath on the exit, um, and fo it's focusing on... I mean, the Carlton's focusing on its strengths, which is straight line speed. It probably also does need to be early on the brakes, let's not forget. The set is a very big, very heavy car. Um, oh. Some understeer, a lot of understeer mid corner there, not what we needed. Uh, now, can I do anything about catching Longbow? We are in the same car, the M5, seemingly quick here. Um, we have not got very long to do anything about catching Longbow. Uh, come on. This does drive quite nicely, I'll say that much. I'm guessing by the look of the way our cars are visually, Longbow doesn't have Forza Aero on. By the seeming relative pace of our cars, I think ours are very similarly built. Uh, we will blast up the hill. Yeah, we've dropped the Carlton. That's not got an answer for us. It actually, this is a nice, a nice driving vehicle here. Um, I can definitely not, uh, yeah, not complain too much about this one. Uh, thank you very much to the Audi for staying out of the way. Uh, we've just not driven it very well into this, this corner. That was all sorts of wrong way. Too shallow on the way in. No speed on the way out. The rain has stopped. It was only a, only a brief shower. There are places where we seem a little faster than Longbow. We kind of reel in a little bit and then... Oh, we make a silly little mistake. I always lock the brakes on the way down the hill there. Uh, <laughs> if we hadn't started the back of the, like, at the back of the pack, I think we could have had a good race. I say, well, we have had a very good race to have come up to second, but uh, could have possibly challenged Longbow if we started on the front row, for example. Uh, these, M these M5s are fast here. Now, this, this is a... I say a unique track. This sort of a track is not going to be the only style of track we race on. This is a very technical, very handling-focused circuit. So this probably won't be 
representative of every single track that we could come across uh, in this series of races. Uh, Longbow found some street furniture. Yeah, I can't do anything to reel Longbow in. Longbow can't really get away. The gap's just stayed as it is. That little brush on the curb won't help me. Longbow's brush on the street furniture didn't help them. Uh, we will run down the hill. Oh, again, just that little... It's the tiniest lock-up on the brakes there. The littlest of chirps. We get off the brake quick enough. It's horrible. I, I love the challenge of this track. Do not get me wrong. It's a horrible braking zone down there, though, that you have got to get absolutely perfect. Uh, it is such a tricky corner. Good, good fun. Like, I always enjoy challenging corners like that. Um, but yeah, that is one of the toughest corners, toughest braking zones. Yeah, we, we followed Longbow, we desperately pursued, just couldn't catch, Longbow couldn't shake us. I suspect lap time's going to be very, very similar. The Carlton, I think, looked like it was holding on to third uh, in a big battle going on for that last spot on the podium. Those M5s were both very quick and indeed pretty much identical lap times. <laughs> 198 or so fast down into the 52s for that one. The Carlton was desperately trying to fend it off. The Audis, fifth and sixth for the all-wheel drive machines. Yeah. <laughs> the M5s were very strong on the twisty circuit. We will see how it goes uh, when we go to some faster circuits. This is a good start. It's a good start for the BMWs, at least. We head to the Estadia circuit for our next race. I spot the other BMW. The target is acquired up ahead. Well, possibly. We'll see. Um... This a different sort of challenge to the previous circuit, a lot more high speed. I mean, there's a couple of slow sections. Um, Carlton will enjoy the longer straights. <laughs> Other than that, don't really know what we might see around this track. Hopefully we will have a good race. We were a little bit further up the grid this time around, which is um, something, at least. We will get off the line. Can't match the Carlton, that absolutely bolts off of the line. Of course, we're not going to match the all-wheel drive car, although I did expect the Audis actually to shoot forward I guess they don't have much PI really to work with, or a crazy amount of PI to work with, so it's probably a little bit down on power. And it is a heavy car, let's not forget that. Uh, both the Audi, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna be, they're gonna be heavy cars. Um, so yeah, there is, there is that. We're gonna try and get past. So this M3 that's alongside us is more of a speed car by the looks of it. It's very sketchy. Uh, <laughs> rear end struggling to find traction. It's going to be on a, you know, we'll pass Longbow before we get to the, uh, say that high speed car. That is sketchy for the M3. Now, I don't really want to be stuck behind the M3 going into the chicane, but i got no choice. Uh, we are on the outside, but that's a difficult place to pull a manoeuvre off. I know, it will try, it'll, it'll get to the inside, but it's never going to carry the same speed through here that we can. So we will make this pass work, and we will massively close on the Audi and Carlton through here, but then they're going to potentially vanish once we get onto a straight. So, yeah, we've got me and Longbow in very similarly built cars in nearly identical paint jobs uh, <laughs> going up against... Uh, well, uh, the Audi's not that much faster, actually. It's only really got traction. Trying to find a way past that Carlton is going to be difficult. Uh, I'm kind of half hoping Longbow's going to open the door getting past the... Ah, oh, damn it. That's very annoying. No. <laughs> I think any chance we've got to get in the Carlton is going to be difficult. Uh, I mean, the Audi did nothing wrong there. We were hoping Longbow was going to open the door, and they did. We tried to follow through, but it was slammed shut a little bit uh, last second, and we couldn't bail out of that one, so we ended up just pushing the Audi through. And the issue I've got now is we're coming up to the section where I'm going to be very fast, and we've potentially got a bigger state car in the way, pretty much. Oh, I lent on it as much as I dare, and I lent on it a little bit too much. Not gonna get past quick as quick as I'd like anyway. We might get it on the exit here if we can be clever. We duck underneath it for the drive out of the corner, we can. We'll get alongside, but then uh, I say our slight lack of power. We're 317 horsepower, something like that. Just over 300, which is not bad amount of power, but there are more powerful cars in this field. Uh, yeah, we're going to get stuck a little bit on the wrong side. Though that's never stopping from that distance. <laughs> I was worried we were going to end up going into the back of it under braking, because it would have to brake earlier than me. And they got to the point where I wanted to be braking, and it wasn't slowing down ahead. That's probably a good sign for me that we're going to be able to outbrake it. Right, so we've got Ford behind us. That also seems closer in terms of a build to, uh, to me. It's not really... Yeah, it's... 
equal down the straight, pretty much. How fast dare we be through the chicane? That's about the limit. <laughs> it's about the limit of what we can do. The Sierra has, though, got a little bit better exit. Or it, it thought about trying to get to the... That's such a difficult corner, because if you do get to the inside on the first part, what you end up doing is making it such a tight line for the second part, you really struggle to get any speed off of the corner. Um, so, yeah, we kind of pinched the car to the inside and made it difficult. Uh, unfortunately, all that fighting, I mean, the two ahead are now long gone. Nothing we can do about it. We wasted too much time. I couldn't pass the uh, Audi quickly or particularly, I say cleanly. We did get past it cleanly in the end, but we lost a lot of time faffing around with it. Uh, we will try and carry as much speed as we can through here. Yeah, our main goal is going to be keep that Ford behind, uh, although it's actually going to slide out of there and might have hit the guardrail. It's going to lost some ground anyway, so we don't really have to worry about defending on this final lap. It's going to be a battle for fastest lap pretty much here. Uh, we will be, of course, flat through here, no problem at all. Uh, not flat through this section, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, little little lift, little tap on the brakes. Okay, that's that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Actually, this has been a good final lap if I can just uh, get the final couple of corners right, uh, which we, well, you can take that corner faster, but I like to try to set it up for the final turn. Gear, uh, third gear's not too bad, actually, for the exit there. I think there's a slide from the Ford to try to catch. Yeah, I'd be curious to see fastest lap between the BMWs and the Carlton, and even the Ford to that extent. I think they were quite all quite similar in lap time. They gained their speed in different ways, though. We get on the podium. Considering everything, not too bad. Uh, okay, well, the lap times... Ah, oh, we're not quite... Not quite as quick as the top two, but again, there's only a few tenths in it. Longbow slightly faster uh, around there. I definitely think there's a couple of tenths in that final sector. I could have done a bit better on that on that last lap as well. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, the Carlton takes a victory. If we're going to get beaten by something. I'm not too disappointed about it being a Carlton, at least. That's something. We head off to the Emerald Circuit for our next race. Uh, we're not too bad on the grid here. Uh, wow, we've got 12 people. Connection roulette has got... <laughs> let 12 people get connected. Uh... Okay, I mean, Carl Carlton is the one to be afraid of here. Um, I think me, Longbow also with the M5, and the uh, R the Sierra, the RS500, are all much of a muchness in, in how we get our speed. The Carlton, of course, straight line speed monster uh, in this in this little battle. Uh, so, and this this track, this track is an awkward one. If you don't have enough handling, you could lose a lot of time through a few corners. But if you've got enough straight line speed to overcome that, uh, you can make the most of the long straights. This is one of the corners that could could give the Carlton some grief uh, for future. It is the very slow corner in front of the hotel, and the final corner as well uh, can be a real problem for pure power cars around here. Uh, we are going to try. I mean, we, we've got to. We can't get stuck in traffic here. Uh, we can't afford to get stuck in traffic here. Carlton very early on the brakes. We know it's likely to need to be very early on the brakes. Uh, now, the RS is going to have good traction out of these slow corners. Carlton might struggle down here, actually. This could be a saving grace for me. If the Carlton's a handful through that section, uh, it might mean that it's out of range, because we can carry a lot of speed through here. Don't want to get held up by the Audi, thankfully. It didn't really cost us anything this lap around. Now, the Carlton's going to come soaring past. There's nothing I can do about it here, really. We can make it awkward. We can force the Carlton to go a long way around, which it's not going to be able to do. It's never going to have the grip to go around the outside of me. The Audi bumps the wall and loses a lot of momentum. Uh, we are alongside, or oh, a little bit out of shape through here. Now, we are creating a roadblock for the Big Lotus. Uh, we should, though, get this pass completed. We do. Okay. The M5 takes the lead of the race. The Carlton is uh, also through up in two seconds. Oh, my gear ratios are not just not quite where I want them to be. They're not too bad. Third gear is working. Uh, we got away with a brush on the rocks as well, which is amazingly lucky. Carlton, yeah, understeers into that wall. Uh, <laughs> that might be what helps me the most and we can be fast out of the final corner we know the Carlton's going to struggle um, Longbow is in seventh one of the characteristics of this track 
that I have experienced in the past, if you get stuck in traffic, even if you've got a quick car, you get stuck in traffic, it's really difficult to make progress around here. Especially if you've got a handling car and a bunch of power cars around you, uh, you can really get held up. So yeah, I suspect that's what's happened to poor Longbow in this one. We will be flat all the way up here, and I would imagine we'll be flat through this section, no problem as well. Indeed we are. Uh, we will pull clear of that uh, Carlton. Just don't hit the rocks, because that would really screw us up. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think the Carlton is just too much of a handful uh, around these corners, or the M5 is fast enough down the straights that... Uh, it can just always, it can be staying out of range of the cars, and that's actually not a very good final corner. Uh, we get a decent enough run onto the start finish straight. Longbow's up to fifth. Uh, yeah, the Carlton might actually have to watch more for the Audi than it is chasing me down. I actually, I'm saying I'm surprised. At the Stadia, the Stadia circuit, um, but what the hell am I doing through there? We can be way faster, but it's all like momentarily forgot what corner we were at. <laughs> or more like the level of grip we have in this car. Um, yeah, the, the Stadia circuit. That Carlton certainly could make the most of it. I guess the straights on that are a little bit longer. I'm, I'm surprised though, I thought it was going to be fighting us a lot more uh, around here. Uh, we will... Can we try third out of here maybe? Uh, yeah, third it feels like we're just a little... Oh god, a little too low down in that. That's not been a very good run for me. Thankfully, yeah, this has not been a great lap, but thankfully you've still got a decent size gap. I mean, I'm glad the Carlton's not closer, because otherwise we would potentially be in a bit of bother coming on to the final lap of the race here. Uh, Longbow's worked their way up to fourth, so the other M5 is going well. Uh, it's just is stuck in traffic. The Sierra's only up into eighth. But again, I, I think it's just the fighting. Fighting in the mid-pack can really easily... Uh, hold you back. That was a bit ambient. <laughs> to being too slow through their last lap around, we got a little carried away. Um, almost worked. Very, very close to working that one. Didn't really lose much time. Uh, just a small bit of time with the bump on the wall, but uh, not crazy amount. Uh, we're gonna uh, have to have a tiny safety lift through there. Uh, don't think, actually, I think all the rocks were played out on the inside for the first part there. Um, we're just playing it a bit safe. No reason to risk anything on the final lap here. Um, We've got a nice enough lead. Um, the car is, is clearly very fast. I don't know whether we'll get fastest lap of the race. I think Longbow will be our main rival for that one, depending on if they've had a run. The final lap is in clean air, so that might be able to beat whatever I've done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we pulled a gap when we needed to. It wasn't a perfect drive, but we pulled a big enough gap that small errors didn't really matter too much. The M5, very, very quick around there. It worked. It definitely worked. What was Longbow's lap time? No, we did get a fastest lap of the race. 55.3 for, for us. Um, yeah, Longbow, second fastest. The Sierra, also into the 55s. No one had an answer for my M5 around that circuit. Yeah, I'm, I'd say, pleasantly surprised. I knew it was going to be strong there. Uh, I thought we might have more of a more of a threat, actually, uh, from the likes of the Carlton. But no, it works. All, all is good for the M5. We are off to the festival circuit for our next race. It really does not want to put me anywhere near the front of the grid for, <laughs> for this. Oh, the car for, okay, yeah, put the Carlton on pole for what would probably be, what probably will be its best sort of circuit. Uh, I'd be very surprised if the BMWs could match the Carlton around here. Uh, this is the track where if a power car is going to work, this is the one where it will most likely work. In terms of a circuit race, anyway, not necessarily points to points, but uh, yeah, <laughs> this is the sort of track uh, where you're going to want a bit of power. I suspect we will be battling over second place between the M5s, potentially the Sierra. Uh, the M3 with a lot of power might be quick here, actually. If it's not too uncontrollable, that could work uh, around this track as well, so we'll have to watch out for that one. Uh, God, it's just gone. It has just vanished off at the front. Uh, oh, okay, I can't... I can carry a lot of speed through there, but not quite all of that speed. Almost, though. Almost could carry all of that speed there. Uh, right, where is that M3? We've got a Volvo in ghosty, ghosty mode. We've got an M3 having a look, but the M3 stuck in traffic currently. There's a lot of it around. Uh, I thought about trying to have a dive on the 190E. Couldn't do it. Uh, actually, we could have been braver through that corner. We should have been braver through that corner, to be honest with you. Um... Yeah, I was going for trying to get a neat exit, but in the end we were just kind of slow through all of that. The Audi slides up wide. Uh, it just hasn't got it hasn't got the grip 
of the BMWs or the grip of some of the other cars. The Mercs struggling a little bit for straight line speed, both of them. We're on the outside now of a three wide through the penultimate corner, not where I want to be. Can we cut underneath for the exit? We're going for a triple cutback. Now we are, oh, little, ah, that's a bit of lag. <laughs> that's very unlucky. <laughs> Friendly fired lag murder between the two 190Es. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, it, it does, it very much looks like uh, one got taken out, but nothing you could do, you know, the car that's alongside us didn't do anything wrong there. That's actually surprisingly did make the corner. I thought that was going, well, we're going to cut underneath it and get a better exit, but uh, did make the turn. Yeah, nothing they could have done. Their lag unfortunately murdered uh, the other 190E there. It's annoying when you're on the receiving end of those, but what can you do? We're going to get taken up by a lagging car. It's not very much, unfortunately. In fact, we've got 11 people connected to this race is a miracle with the Forza servers as the way they are today. Uh, now, we've got to try and find a way past an Audi, and then we've got to go hunting a Longbow. And I'm not really sure we're going to be able to do much against Longbow, because as we've seen, our cars are very, very similar. Um, I think mine might be slightly better in the twisty stuff, and Longbow's might be slightly better at the faster stuff, but we're only talking a few tenths a lap, really. Uh, we tried to be brave around the outside of an RS4. It did not work. Uh, can we do anything here? Again, I can carry great speed. There's a gap. There was a BMW's width we tried to aim for. We couldn't quite find it. Uh, it was worth a go, although it had... Was it worth a go? Maybe. It has compromised us a little bit now um, for our run towards the start-finish line. We've got to be careful that 190E is not slow behind us. Where are we going to get a pass done? Onto the bridge is probably our best bet. To fair, actually, maybe turn one here as well. You can see how much the Audi's struggling. We can close massively through there. Now we are on the bumper. So, yeah, the, if we can be very quick through turn one, the Audi's going to add accelerators. Um, but if we get quick through turn one, uh, we might be able to cause trouble onto the bridge here. But at the moment, we're a bit too far back to have a dive. Although the Audi's running wide, very wide on the exit. We'll still get the power down. And is going to be... We're going to give it a... We're going to give it no choice, but it's like a very tight line down here. Uh, we're going to swing out wide at the last second. Try and make this outside pass work. I think... I think it might be done. Yeah. <laughs> kind of pinch the Audi to the inside for as long as possible. I mean, we didn't force it off the track. We just made, made it have a very awkward line through that hairpin. Which meant it couldn't really carry any speed. And we could make the most of our grip on the outside. Uh, we may be vulnerable into turn one. But even if the Audi does get up the inside, it would have to be a quite a big dive and it's never going to be able to carry the corner speed at turn one. So even if it goes for a dive at turn one, I'm not too fussed. I'd just duck underneath it. Well, I'd prefer I could actually... Yeah, it's not catching quick enough. We could just defend normally. We don't even need to because I think we can break late enough into here. Just run the car in with a lot of speed. That might, again, a little too much speed for us there. It's not actually quite what we wanted to do. Yeah, and he's a little closer than I would have liked. Um, we've got a little carried away. This is really the first time I've really approached that corner and had a free rein. We're going to send it to the outside here. Uh, it will not be able to outbreak us down here. Uh, we can have a big dive and we will get on the power. The Audi will not be able to live with the pace. Oh, it's still got an overlap. Uh, we're going to do exactly the same manoeuvre we did last time then. Force it to the inside. Oh, it actually backed out of that one. Uh, <laughs> surprise! Uh, I guess... To be fair, it didn't work last time, so it was a better manoeuvre. It backed out of that one to go for a normal line. Uh, Learned from the last approach. Now, we've got a couple of corners to go. It's looking to the outside. It's going to try and duck underneath us on the exit, would be my guess. Can't quite take it tight enough. Now, the final corner. We will not be letting it get to the inside of us here. We can send it to the outside. We can send it the long way around, because I will be flat through here, and the Audi can't do it. <laughs> Audi understeers. <laughs> Good race. I had a really good race for the RS2. Uh, didn't have a great final lap for me there. Um, as I say, a little bit... Well, it kind of all went wrong at turn one. I was, I was a bit too fast on the way into turn one, and then we had to defend for the rest of the lap. Um, I tell you what, Longbow's car was quick there. Uh, although, actually, to be fair, you know, the top six all very similar lap times, really. Out well, long Longbow, that little bit faster. The rest of us, though, very close together. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of lap time, ah, these have been great fun uh, so far. It's only been the Carlton and the M5s that have been on the top step, but uh, yeah, it's been some really really good racing. Oh, we head into our final race at the Garden Circuit. Oh, for God's sake, game! <laughs> it's gonna be 
Oh, it's going to be a lot of overtaking for me. Oh, the Carlton's at the bloody front row again. This is going to be a track that will be strong for the M5s. Uh, very, very handling focused circuits. Um, I love this track. My car should be good here, but we've got a lot of cars to try and get through. Hell, we've got two cars until we get to the Sierra that'll be quick. Then it's Longbow. The other, then one of the 190, about both 190s, not bad handling either. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like our car will be strong here. This should be a good track for my M5, but from 11th on the grid, it's going to be difficult. Not impossible, but it's going to be difficult. If we can get through a bunch of cars while we're in ghost mode, that would be the best start imaginable, really. Um, quite a lot of understeer on some cold tyres through there. I mean, the Audis will be struggling a bit with that as well. Uh, we've only really got one. We might get the uh, RS4 while we're in ghost mode. If we get the 190E, that would be super helpful, but we've just popped out of ghost mode at the wrong moment. Uh, we are to the inside of everyone. In fact, everyone's got stacked up there. That is as good as we could have asked for. Everyone got stacked up on the outside. We've managed to sneak our way past. The M3 doesn't have the grip to go with us here, and we are up into amazingly third place. Now... We know me and Longbow are very similar in terms of our... We're the same car, the same livery. Uh, they're similar builds, but they're not identical. I do have a bit more grip, and Longbow has a bit more straight line speed. Uh, we are going to be in trouble here. Yeah. Tried to back out of it. It was just too late, annoyingly. Um, I, I think the Carlton might be gone in this. I think, because we were all fighting on the first lap, while the Carlton will not be the quickest car here over a lap. I think the gap is going to be too big for us to reel it in. Um, that's just the, the luck of the random draw. If it was the other way around, if me and Longbow started on the front row, I don't think any other car would see us for the entire race. <laughs> yeah, I think that's just sometimes how it goes with these grids. Uh, yeah, we are much more stable through these quarters. I wonder what's different on our cars then. Because uh, we've got so much more stability uh, through these turns than Longbow. I mean, we've absolutely the gaps evaporated over the course of half a lap. Uh, it's really that 90 degree corner where the big difference was made. Hmm. Yeah, I do I do wonder. I've got a roll cage in mind. I'm trying to look through Longbow the rear window see if Longbow's got a roll cage. Uh, that chassis rigidity does help. It adds weight, but uh, yeah, might, might explain some of it. Oh, that's the limit. <laughs> that is 100% the limit. In fact, uh, the leader is going to be looking in their rear view mirror or flicking the camera to look behind soon because uh, the BMWs are coming at a very quick rate and I just don't think we're going to catch but it might not be until the final lap uh, just yeah that gap was so large we're just going to run out of time to do anything uh, well, again yeah Longbow's car is a smidge unstable there better this time though from Longbow and I was a little bit wide uh, not really sure what gear I want through half of these circuits. Uh, I mean, what might what might end up happening if Lombo catches the Carlton, that will very quickly back the M5 up into me, but both of us try to find a way past the Carlton, not great. Um, oh, that's a terrible corner by me as well. That might screw our chances. Me just being a little, trying to be a little bit too eager on turning and uh, a little too shallow a line. Yeah, we beans that lap up massively. Okay, well... We're going to really need the Carlton to uh, back Longbow up now because we've had a terrible lap. Hopefully that was a good start to this lap. Uh, we need to get the 90 degree right hander perfect and then we'll take it from there really. Uh, Carlton is under immense pressure here and Longbow's got it but is going to be wide on the exit. Uh, will the Carlton be able to... Uh, the Carlton's stuck on the wrong side. The Carlton really would have wanted to get to the inside for this next corner. Uh, but cannot. The only thing the Vauxhall has got is it'll have a run down the hill and it will have power and it might be able to make life, Longbow's life really awkward. It is. It's going to do... Yeah, that's what I would want to do if I was in the Carlton. Longbow's going to look to go around the outside and Longbow has the grip to make it work. Great pass. Uh, that is a tough pass to do, although it does maybe put you a little bit awkward for turn one if the Carlton's got the speed, but it'll never have the grip to do anything through the first corner. Uh, we will come barreling into turn one now, and Lombo is gone and out of range. Now the Carlson's got another BMW to worry about. <laughs> uh, I'm annoyed at myself. If we hadn't hit that wall, I feel like we've got the fastest car around this track. But uh, 
we were not able to show it uh, necessarily. The Carlton is going defensive. Oh, and we... <laughs> there was a just about again. That's a very difficult corner to go around the outside on. And the Carlton will again make it awkward for us. It has every right to. Just ran out of time here to do anything. Uh, and the Carlton's going to be far enough away. Maybe we could have dove to the inside there. Uh, possibly. Uh, we're going to try and carry as much speed as I dare through here. Uh, Carlton slides out wide. Uh, there's not a gap for an M5 anywhere there. <laughs> Yeah, we had a very, very quick car on that one. A little mistake by me, <laughs> just come from so far back, it just did not have enough time. I really like that car though, that is a wonderful driving car, that, uh, that M5. It's a really, really nice driving car. Uh, we did indeed get fastest lap of the race. Not, I say not, not so surprised. Um, yeah, we definitely had the stability uh, around there that Longbow's car was just lacking a tiny bit, but Longbow had the acceleration. And more importantly, the track position. We just couldn't quite get that pass done. Uh, the Ford was also quick, but again, got stuck in traffic and couldn't make the most of its, of its speed, really. Well, there we go. Uh, <laughs> I think we had the same podium in almost all of them. Uh, the RS4 got a podium at the Emerald Circuit, but other than that, yeah, very similar podiums. Um, th this was this was some good fun. Longbow's on rally tyres. Oh, okay, that's the difference. I'm on sport tyres, Longbow's on rally tyres. Curious. Curious indeed. Uh, <laughs> there we go, that, that was the big difference with our cars, I guess. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Enjoyed racing these retro saloon cars. We had a lot of very close battles. Uh, I got a little bit unlucky with grid, grid positions with my car, but it was a very quick car. It was a very quick car indeed. I like this uh, like this vehicle. I think it's it almost it do like rally tires. I mean, these have got some tread, but they're not the same blocks. Ah. Either way, yeah. Awesome racing. Uh, that, though, is going to be it for this video. If you would like to sign up and take part in the next one of these, you can via our Discord. The link in the description. Find the Versus Committee sign-up section. You can register to take part in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a uh, goodbye.